Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. This is my Inktober flip video. I'm going to flip through all 31 pieces. I did actually finish it this year. I am super happy that I actually succeeded in creating a piece for each day throughout the month. Um, they're all on Bristol paper and they're all 9 by 12 pieces. I tried to do a finished piece for each day. <clears throat> they're not perfect by any means, but I am pretty satisfied with the body of work that um, that came out of this this year's prompts. Uh, um, let's let's just jump right in. This is day one. Um, the prompt word was crystal, I believe. I'm gonna have to flip over and look on the back. Yeah, the prompt word was crystal. So I did crystal. But this is a crystal queen. Um, and this is her confused. I don't know, son subject person I thought it turned out pretty good it's cute I did a little um two different kinds of black ink on the background so I'm not terribly satisfied with that but overall I like the piece and then day two was suit and I did um my own version of the queen of hearts uh, she's the queen of broken hearts and if you look really closely, you can see all of her hearts are broken. Yeah, I, I really like the idea. I thought it turned out pretty, pretty cool. And then we have Vessel for day three. Um, and that's all it is. It's a Vessel magic potion on a bookshelf in some, some room somewhere, some wizard's room. And then not day four, the I believe it was not, yeah, the prompt word was not, and I did not want to draw a rope, and I didn't want to draw a big, um, complicated uh, Celtic design of any kind, so I went with the, the, this knot, it is a Celtic, Celtic knot, but um, threw in my own colors just to make it pretty. Needed an easy piece. Um, uh, day five was Raven. I think he turned out super cool. I really dig him. I like drawing birds anyways, but I, I enjoy the colors. I was thinking I should probably have gone a little darker black, but um, I, I don't know. I really like the blue and purple. And then we have day six, which was spirit. Yes. Yes. Um, so I, I made up this tree spirit. Um, and he's a little he's a little angry. I wish I had done a little more contrast between the background and the character in in the after the fact. I I really wanted to make this more. I might revisit this. I have a story in my head. But overall I really I really enjoy the piece. I like his expression. I think it's cool. And this is a fan pigeon. Um I think it turned out pretty good. I was not really feeling this piece, but I, I, I dig it all right. I like the little fans on the on the head. The bird itself is, is pretty cool looking and, and it has a bright red eye. I didn't do the bright red eye. And then we have day eight, which was watch. And I didn't want to do a watch or a clock or something along those lines. So I drew, um, this is one of those things you look through to, you pay the quarter. I forget what they're called. They're basically big binoculars and you can see the land or the landscape. Um, I just had a lot of fun scribbling scribbling this one down. I like drawing mountains. I think it turned out pretty good. And then we have day nine which was um, pressure and I didn't know what to do for this one. I, I was thinking something like a vice or gripping, gripping hands, and then um, this came to mind, a coffee grinder and coffee beans, and I really enjoy how this one turned out. It feels right. I, I really like it. This one I don't like at all. Uh, the prompt word was pick, and it is guitar strings with a pick um, tucked in them, and I don't feel that it reads very well. Um, I, I would wanted to redo this one, but I really didn't have the time. 
So that's that one. And then day 11 was sour. And I didn't want to draw lemons or anything, you know, traditional. So I drew, uh, I, I chose to do sour app or sour cherry blossoms and a bee. Gave me an excuse to draw a bumblebee. I do love to draw bees and bugs. Look at him. He's fantastic. And the flowers turned out pretty good too. Uh, I'm overall pretty pleased with it. And then day, how dare you? 12 was stuck. Where's 12? 12 was stuck. Um, this is a funnel web and, and there's a leaf here and a, the spider and he's on leaves. Um, I did kind of a resist with the ink to get the webbing. Um, this is acrylic ink and then some acrylic, some um, Bombay India ink in the green and then watercolor over the top. And I did him with um, watercolor and, and pens. I think he turned out cool. Once again, I really like drawing bugs, but the web was hard to get the right effect. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I like that resist effect a lot. And then we have day 13, which was roof. And I just looked at different roof, different kinds of roofs in this little cabin. I think was super cool. Lots of lines, lots of scribbling. Really got in there. Took some time. And I wanted it to look like it was in, a, in the fog, which is why there's a great background. I really like that one too. My sister claimed that one. <laughs> Um, this is day 14. The prompt word was tick. And, um, once again, wasn't interested in doing a traditional, like, clock or time piece of any kind. Something traditional. So, I, I ran across some reference photos of an hourglass. And then my whole idea went left and suddenly there were dragons and it was in a forest and it wasn't a traditional hourglass. It was growing, it was like in between the trees. And yeah, I, I had fun with this one. Uh, once again, it could use some more um, contrast and some more details, but uh, tried to limit my time for each piece so that I, I didn't get too carried away. It was hard to do. Because I like the details. Um, what do we got? Day 15 was helmet. I'm remembering these off the top of my head. That's impressive. <laughs> um, and so I did a snowboarder coming off the mountain. Always, always wear a helmet when you're snowboarding, right? Especially if you're, you're one of those extreme sports people. But I like this. I like the contrast of the ink work and the blue. I think it turned out neat. I dig it. I'm overall pretty happy with all my pieces this year, which is crazy. That never happens. This is day 16. Um, I'm trying to remember the prompt word. Compass? Yes? Yes! Haha! -ha, I did it. Um, gave me an excuse to draw a ship. This is the ship from Treasure Planet. If you've never seen that, that cartoon. I don't know if it's Pixar or Disney or a combination of the two of them, but that's what this ship is. It's the main, the main ship. And I just did it in pinks inst instead of, um, I don't even know what color it is on the cartoon anymore. It's been a long time since I've watched it. But it is an enjoyable um, cartoon if you're into cartoons. And clearly I am. Um, day 17? I want to say it was Crash. Collide. Uh, there's two little surfers in, in the wave. If you get really close, you can see them. And it is colliding with them or crashing down. You know, provided they don't get out of the way. Um, moon for day 18, obviously. Um, not my favorite piece, but I'm, I mean, it's the moon. It's the, a blue moon which is rare. I didn't do a lot of research. Sorry, my phone's not on vibrate. It's my friend's birthday today and he is um, messaging with me. This is day 19 and the prompt word was loop. 
So I did this pretty kitten or cat with a big a big satin ribbon and I love this piece. I think it turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. It feels the way I wanted it to. So that's not really all I have to say about that one. I really enjoy this one. And then day 20 was Sprout. And my original thought I was going to use this prompt word to draw baby Groot, but forgot and did instead a dragon because um, sprout can mean growing or growth or merging. Um, so I did a baby dragon coming out of an egg. He's sprouting, right? He's going to grow. My mom loves these pieces with the dragons. And I thought he was so cool looking. This is... <laughs> He made me laugh. Um, day 21, the prompt board was fluffy, and this baby eaglet just, he looks so mad. He looks like he's like, why? Who did this to me? They're gonna pay. <laughs> I love him. I think he's fantastic. He makes me laugh. Ooh, open for day uh, 22. I, I just wanted to do open wings and I really enjoy how this came out. All the colors bled and merged the way I wanted them to. This is watercolor and ink. All my pieces are a combination of um, ink and then watercolor, marker, um, and some India ink because th those are the mediums that I love. I love watercolor. It's my favorite. And ink drawing with watercolor wash is, is a favorite. But I really love how my butterfly turned out. I think she's she he is really pretty. What do you guys think? I, I'm I'm enjoying all of my pieces. <laughs> um, extinct. I for day twenty three, I drew a leopard that is indeed extinct. It, this day made me sad. I did a lot of research on animals, both. In history and recently that have gone extinct and learned a lot of sad stuff but overall I think the piece turned out super cool look at that face who, who doesn't love that face and a 25 coffee coffee is a favorite thing in the whole wide world so um, I think the prompt word for day 25 was leak Am I, am I a day ahead? I lost a day, didn't I? Huh. I, got, I might have gotten them mixed up. Yeah, I did. This is day 23 and this is day 24. I got them mixed up. So this is day 24 is extinct and 23 is leak. And I did coffee. Because, I mean, why not? This is all ink, and this is just a touch of watercolor on the piece. And I think it, and the reflection, I think it reads pretty well. I like it. And then extinct. And then we have, where are you? Day 25, which is splat. And this is a drop of water. It plopped in and it's poofing back up. And I, I really like it. <laughs> I like how it turned out. Um... Yeah. Looks like a cool mushroom, doesn't it? Like one of those crazy psychedelic mushroom things. I really like this one. I think I'm saying that about every piece. Made me laugh. Couldn't not draw this one. This is day 26, which is connect. And um, who doesn't connect to their animal, right? To their pet? I mean, look at him. Connect with me. Connect. <laughs> I like how it turned out. Plus, you know, glasses. Dog with glasses makes you laugh. Spark for day 27. This is a welder. Um, could have gone a little darker in the background, I think. But overall, I really like the effect of this piece. I think it turned out really good. Um... 
Then we have day 28, which was crisp, crispy. And I went with fall, because fall for me feels um, crisp and um, that cool, sharp air on your deck with a cup of coffee and the fall leaves. I, I really liked doing this one. I went right in with ink. I didn't do a pencil drawing to begin with. And then watercolor for the leaves, which turned out amazing. And the decking and then the cup of coffee. Just You just wanted to put some cream and sugar in that coffee, don't you? I know I do. <laughs> We have day 29, which was patch, and I thought about doing a quilt, and really, really was not digging any of the sketchings or reference photos or anything that I came up with, so I, I, I went ahead and did a farming one scene. It's a wind, windmill farm. I think it turned out cool. I mean, lots of straight lines, and perspective is hard. For me to use the ruler and and get the lines right is is difficult for me but i like the way it turned out and then we have we're almost done we have day 30 which was slither and i did a little snail slithering up on his leaf i think he turned out neat i'm very happy with him uh, i mean once again could take your time and really i, I like details and realism so that realistic kind of feel, but I think he turned out neat. Happy little curious snail. And then day 31 was Risk. So I did a rock climber. Yeah, I, I like the feel of this one. It, it, it came out exactly how I wanted it to. For the most part, this could be better, but overall it reads right. Uh, and I, I really dig it. And the sky in the background is watercolor. This is all once again, ink, watercolor, and then I bought these um, Artix markers in the grays, which have been on the table, and they have this the lid that folds so that you can they lean, and you can just grab them. And then my Micron pens, of course, uh, I have tons of them, and my. M. Graham palette of watercolors because I don't think I showed this in any of my videos but this is my watercolor palette that I was using throughout the month. This is my my everyday go-to M. Graham palette. Well it's mostly M. Graham. It does have a couple of Sennelier colors in it as well and my Indigos. Daniel Smith, Sennelier and then some white gouache. So yeah that's my watercolor set. And I'm going to show you all of these pieces up on the wall if you guys just give me a hot little second. Okay guys, here are all of the Inktober pieces up on the wall. This is the back bedroom. This is where I have all of my other art stuff. And this is where I work out. But this is this is the Inktober Hall O Creation. It's pretty cool to see it all together, all lined up on the wall, I think, just to see how much work was done in the month. And I tried to do a, a finished piece for each day. Um, the only ones I don't really care for are, is that one, that one, that one. Yeah, overall, I like the I like all the rest of them. I, I wish I had done a better job on the black background on the back of that one. Yeah, and maybe chosen something a little more interesting for not. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye.